Dizzy Double B 97.5 News Update News with no bias News with no exception Delivering nothing but the truth This is Dizzy Double B 97.5 News Update Your news, our business Good morning Philippines Good morning Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao It is a sunny day, July 2, 2022 this is Mark Anthony M. Cerro serving you the most hottest, latest, and wanted news here and around the globe. This is DZWB 97.5 News Update. Your news, our business. Headlines for today. Define for emergency. How to prevent a fire. Elements of the fire emergency and methods of extinguishing a fire. And for today's headline, the first is define a fire emergency. And here is Mr. Anthony to discuss it. Anthony, thank you Mr. Moore. Fire emergency means an emergency response involving a fire protection and prevention, rescue, emergency medical, or hazardous material response services. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Mr. Anthony, for having the definition of fire emergency. And now for the second headline, here is Mr. Anthony to discuss how to prevent a fire. Mr. Anthony. Thank you, Mark. So now, I'm just here to discuss about how to prevent a fire. Apat na pamilya ang apektado ng sunog sa barangay Unang Sigaw, Quezon City, kanina. Nasa lamay raw sila na maganap ang sunog kaya wala silang naisalba ni isang gamit. Nagbabalik si James Agustin. Nagliwanag ang kalangitan sa laki ng apoy na tumutupok sa isang bahay sa Quirino Highway, Barangay Unang Sigaw, Quezon City bago magalas stress sa madaling araw. Agad na itinaas ng BFP ang unang alarma. Matapos ang halos 30 minuto, naapula ang suno. Tumambad ang pinsala sa bahay. So that could happen when we don't care if precautionary measures, especially at home, and for accidents often happen in this video. I will give you the tips on how to prevent a fire accident, so, so without further ado, let's get to it. Tip number one, cooking equipment is the leading cause of home fire injuries. Never leave an open flame unattended, even just for a minute. Tip number two, heating equipment is the second most common cause of home fire injuries. Be sure to keep all heating equipment and safe distance away from flammable objects. Tip number 3, smoking is the number one cause of all home fire deaths, so smoke outdoors and be sure to properly extinguish cigarettes with water. Tip number 4, regularly check wires throughout your home to make sure they are not damaged. Also, be sure not to overload outlets throughout your home. Tip number 5, never leave an open flame candle unattended. Consider buying battery powder candles to reduce the risk of home fires. Learning how to prevent a fire from occurring is a good enough reason alone to book yourself onto a fire safety course. It is so important to know what simple measure you can take, such as keeping a fire exist clear, keeping the workplace tidy, effective measurement of waste, and understanding how to reduce the risk of electrical fires occurring. Be alert, never get hurt. God bless and keep safe. Thank you, Mr. N. We'll be right back after this Hi, today we're going to make sausage frittata, a delicious meal for the whole family. Sausages, cheese, eggs, capsicum, artichoke hearts, yum. Mom, Just... Mom. Sometimes it can take a while. Now, what do you want some help with? This is all going to be good. Mom? <laughs> Thank you, Mark. A fire can happen anywhere and it's important to always be prepared for what you would do if you had one in your home. Likewise, it's just as important to look at all of the ways that you can prevent one from happening in the first place. 
You want to know how to prevent fire in your home to protect it and the ones you love? Of course, there are more obvious things that you can buy to protect your home against fire, such as smoke alarms, fire extinguishers, having an escape plan, and even fireproof safe deposit boxes to protect your valuables. Just follow these tips and you'll be on your way. And this is Miss Cage reporting back to you, Mark. Thank you, Miss Kate. And for the headline number four, here is Miss Ivy to discuss the methods of extinguishing a fire. Miss Ivy, go ahead. Thank you, Mark. Now, to extinguish a fire, it is a largely matter of depriving the fire. But what are the methods of extinguishing a fire? Now, we have four mo most known methods, and that is the cooling, the smothering, the starving, and the interrupting. Now first let me explain to you what is the cooling. So cooling by means is limiting temperature by increasing the rate at which heat is lost from the burning material. Okay. The next we have the smothering, the limiting oxygen by preventing air from reaching the seat of the fire to allow the combustion process to reduce the oxygen content in a confined atmosphere until it extinguishes itself. Next we have the starving by limiting fuel by removing potential fuel from the vicinity of the fire, removing the fire from the mass of combustible materials or by dividing the burning material into smaller fires that can be extinguished more easily. Then lastly, we have the interrupting, which means by inhibiting the chemical chain reaction by applying extinguishing media to the fire that inhibit the chemical chain reaction at the molecular level. By means interrupting, this is when you are going to use the fire extinguisher. Now, how to use a fire extinguisher? To ensure a safe operation upon using a fire extinguisher, we have to follow the four basic steps under the pass process, which means pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. First, we have the pull. Pull by means pull pin at the top of the extinguisher, breaking the seal. When in place, the pin keeps the handle from being pressed and accidentally operating the extinguisher. Immediately test the extinguisher, aiming away from the operator, of course, and this is to ensure the extinguisher works and also shows the operator how far the stream travels. Next is the aim, which means approach the fire standing at a safe distance. Aim the nozzle or outlet towards the base of the fire. The squeeze. Squeeze the handles together to discharge the extinguishing agent inside. To stop this discharge, release the handle. Swip. Swip the nozzle from side to side as you approach the fire, directing the extinguishing agent at the base of the flames. After an eight class fire is extinguished, probe for smoldering hot spots that could reignite the fuel. And this is Ivy reporting. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, reporters, for having some information about the fire emergency. So this is Mark Anthony Emissario serving you the most hottest, latest, and wanted news here and around the globe. This is DZWB 97.5 News Updates. Your news, our business. Be alert, never get hurt. God bless, keep safe.